What's up, guys? <clears throat> Here we are on Bedford County. Uh, we just uh, leased this Challenger and we leased the 2720 Ripper. Uh, this is the version 1.1. Um, I guess the first one I uploaded the node that I was using in 15 it wasn't working. So I increased the depth node for plowing. Anyways, been pretty busy. Haven't uploaded any videos. Uh, but figured I'd do a little demo video so I can get a this ripper in action. First model I've actually made. Uh, I think this is well over two years old now. It's not the best, but it uh, not bad for a first model. I've made several since. I like this Challenger interior. Anyway, it just has lights, blinkers, nothing else. We have some corn in our fields here. Um, this is, I believe this is just a 1x map. Some contour farming over here. Uh, so this is a main dairy, your main farm. See, we have our Silverado 60 Vortec right there, and then we have a gooseneck. Um, so this field, I believe, needs to get plowed. Has a chop straw. So we'll just pull in here, unfold our plow, try to get a good line with our GPS. So this is the, um, Biggest Challenger tractor. I went with the dual wheeled version. So we're gonna go ahead, and I believe this is nine meters um, wide. Sneak this into the side there. Should probably put on our four wheels and our diff lock. And we'll try to go as fast as we can. So you can see the Plows a little bit better now. This was um, made before the 2730 uh, was even, I believe, um, being made at the time. I, th I think it was still prototype at that point. And then uh, I eventually ended up making the 2730. Um, I like that a lot better. It's a lot heavier. I feel like this is kind of a hybrid ripper in a disc. Um, I'm sure it does a, um, a decent job in real life, but uh, that 20, uh, 2730 is quite the machine. You don't need as much horsepower with this. Um, 
it's a lot it's not nearly as heavy I don't think the shanks are as aggressive and there's a lot less steel it's, it's down pressure is nowhere near so people um, I like in photos uh, people ask why you skip a row um, and you can see if I were to try to pull in my tires would be hitting the um, implement itself so you try to take a, a less aggressive turn with these implements and uh, when you skip when you skip a row it's just more efficient you can take a less sharp turn and it's less wear and tear on your equipment but and I, I get that question all the time in videos and on pictures, and um, I thought it would be kind of straightforward, but apparently not. You know, as you can see, uh, there's uh, some decent terrain on this field. Nice view of the farm here. Don't have any animals yet. Neighbor's pig farm over there. So this, uh, like in 15, flexes with the train rolling baskets. As the soil animations for the shanks. Starting to get dirty. But um, for the game purposes, it's scripted as a plow. That way you can come in with your field cultivator or whatever kind of implement you want and uh, do your seedbed finishing. I know there's um, speculation of a big bud pack and some larger implements 24 meter working with. so. Should be interesting if they add flexibility and how many wheels are on those implements because it would be nice to have equipment that had more than 10 wheels and more than six components. But who knows if they fix that or not. So you can have larger um, implements like cultivators or air drills and stuff like that. Anyways, I just wanted to make another video, um, basically showing you guys that the 2720 is fixed. It's on Mod Hoster. Um, it's the only place I upload mods. Uh, so if you find it elsewhere, it's not for me, and it's probably uh, been messed with. So thanks for watching.